I'm still doing this iPhone 13 thing. Something about copping a new phone got me recording regular life like I used to. Circle, no compass. It's pretty sick. Stop doing that for a while. Now I'm back. It's Monday afternoon. It was hella loud. It was hella loud out here this morning. Hella loud. Neighbor man had some home builders over, building a home with the machinery. It's all good though. My neighbors let me play drums, so. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, I need to get me a haircut. What? One of the things about editing these vlogs that I really gotta work on is uh, how much I actually capture for these edits. These past few edits so far really just be me capturing my day as it go about. Much of it is just moments with my baby children. Like before I had kids, most of the videos on my phone were um, creative work. Really, I'm just trying to get back to that too. Cutting out the first of three days that I vlogged last week. Day one was over an hour of video. We gotta break day one down to three minutes maybe. We gotta compress the time. Video is time traveling. That's how I see it. edit all the obvious segments first all the long lengths of the talking it's called sound on tape then you got to take notes of the moments in the timeline all the little sequences that might take some special treatment should always save the special treatments for after the initial edit special treatments usually take up the remainder of your time so if you start the special treatments first you ain't even gonna cut down the timeline which is the most important part of editing. The initial edit is where hours of video become like under 10 minutes for a whole video most of my videos are way too long but that's okay I did most of those for my own future purpose. Now I gotta start making these videos for you. <laughs> Good girl. Darker a lot later now. Things that you pick up after um editing a bunch of videos over a period of time being very sensitive to the um the length of individual clips in a sequence i'd be shaving one frame off of a clip over a bunch of a whole bunch of clips you gotta learn to be very selective some things just ain't gonna make it some of the things that you want to be in there it also just ain't gonna make it i'm learning i'm still learning editing a video is probably one of the more personal aspects of video production pretty much like all things that are designed there's a lot of evidence of them decision making. We really just gonna have to see what happens. Very good baby. Why? Do you skip? <laughs> Do you good job? Let's do two knocks. As a musician I really see myself as just a guitarist. Really. That's what I spend most of my time thinking about. When I'm be practicing piano, I'm looking for um, finger independence, left and right hand syncopations. And on a piano, you got a linear sequence of notes, you know? A note on a piano is very individualistic. It only appears once on the whole um, keyboard. But on the guitar, you got, a, um, you got a matrix. You got the matrix. On a guitar, you got a grid system. You got notes that are like, you got notes that appear uh, at least twice. Piano being very linear, and if you need the higher note, you go higher. If you need the lower note, you go lower. On the guitar, there's gonna be um, different ways to play the same thing. You got the major scale, everybody know the major scale, right? Mm -hmm. 
but also play it like this. Play down here. You just gotta know all the ways. You gotta think of, um, think of different angles. It's about um, pattern recognition, really. With that right hand, left hand syncopation type thing, this is gonna be more of um, left hand and right hand synchronization. When things don't need to line up and then when things need to be at the same place at the same time, they gotta line up. And with drums, I'm thinking about um, limb independence, you know, independence with my limbs. Each, uh, each limb gotta be doing different rhythms, <laughs> counting different numbers at all times, at any time, not at all times, at any time, at any given time. independence. Really when I think of guitar, I think of um, a piano and a drum put together. You got a guitar. A little break time, gotta do the warm ups. Gotta get Sit. it. Starting to get hot out here. Paw. Oh, one of the next real things that I gotta get going on for this channel and the rest of my operations is some type of daily schedule and more routine. Music practice schedules, arts and crafts schedules, doggy schedules. Come here, touch. Oh. <laughs> Get domesticated. Up. Another hot day today. Took care of some regular regular life things this morning. Now we're gonna get some studio stuff done. I don't really expect these iPhone vlog videos to perform well on my channel. I mean, none of my videos actually perform well on my channel. I mean, let's be honest for real. These iPhone vlog videos got a lot of my baby children in them. This is just my daily life. Scenery's being changed right now, so I'm just capturing some context. This is just context. I really feel like I'm getting the hang of it though. I mean, we ain't going nowhere yet, but I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Also, check this out. Let's see if we can see this in the camera. Embark Live, for sure. I didn't design it, I just got my name on it somehow. It's pretty sick. Actually, my homie work at a beer factory, so. He be handling the packaging of these. He even got me on um, empty cans. Here we go. We got a whole bunch of them. Oh, oh. Anyways, they're empty. This is just graphic designer stuff. That's what I'd be about. Up until now, I've just kind of fallen into a setting in terms of my professional work. I just started doing YouTube because it seemed like a natural, um, it seemed like a natural out to this out. Got the Pantone swatch booklets. I'd be doing graphic design, but it really did lead me to um, video making. One of my favorite film books. Brief history of film right here. In reality, I'm gonna stay making music. I mean, I ain't writing Grammys. Like, I've been paid for my music in the past in um, corporate world, so I at least know it's possible. This is the old black book from what used to be my local skateboard shop growing up. Let's see if I can find it. This is one of my favorite drawings up in here, but it's not my favorite favorite. Hold on. This is me right here. 2006. This is what I used to write. I've had EmbarkLive.com since 2006. Still looking. What you know about that Tony Hawk? <laughs> my favorite skater is Tony Hawk. That's my favorite one. My videos right now are still kind of whack, but you should have seen my earlier videos when I first started doing them um, back in the office. Those videos were even worse, and I did those on a professional setting. And we still secured budgets to win clients, so this really should be possible. I used to buy these books. I bound like a couple few hundred of them in the past. I'm gonna go back to that. I can never have too many notebooks. I didn't make this one though, but we're gonna do some printing on it later, so we'll see what happens. Got the cutting mat out. Now we're ready for some uh, more arts and craft projects. We got some upcoming projects. But we also gotta keep cleaning up. We gotta clean up the space more. Gotta get organized. For show. Sure. Actually, first, I'm gonna, be, um, I'm gonna show my baby child something. I hope she get impressed by this. Circle, no compass. Pretty sick. Hi, the show and bark Also with guitar. Oh, oh. 